subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone. Fall is in the air. Today on Lady Mary Bath, I'm taking you along to a favorite antique mall for a thrift inspired fall. We will explore tips to curate and decorate for the season. Join me. Heights Antiques on Yale is a shopping destination. I always find treasures, great gifts, and inspiration. It's that time of year to create a cozy ambiance with warm tones and seasonal accents. I always say shop your home and then your local antique and thrift stores. Pull together items to create a theme with rich autumn colors. Whether hosting dinner guests or bringing the autumn season into your everyday living, there are elements to consider. We will focus on these as we shop for fall today. Collectibles and decorative elements. Metals, brass, copper, and gold. Florals, pottery and porcelain. Glass, textiles, napkins, runners, placemats, and quilts. It's always a warm welcome at Heights Antiques on Yale. Lots to do in the area and a great place to spend the day. And we're greeted by Chinoiserie, one of my favorite design elements. And it pairs nicely with silver for quite an elegant look. The planter is an easy look to achieve with the fall silk florals placed on a silver tray. I wouldn't have thought of that, but I really do think it elevates it quite nicely. And the Heights Antiques has quite an eclectic mix. We have modern, mid-century, traditional, so many different looks. And of course, you can use all of these wonderful ideas to build a beautiful seasonal look. Shopping your local antique store is a great way to get inspired for a seasonal look. And even in department stores today, they no longer have the beautiful tables with china, crystal, silver. We can't get any ideas. In fact, we can barely find someone to help us with maybe a couple of patterns they have on the dish wall. And an antique store is a great source for all things beautiful. I've heard from some of you on social media that you have packed away your chinoiserie for this season. Perhaps you will reconsider. A simple pop of orange can transform your table from September through November. I encourage you to join us on our group page, Facebook, Lady Mary Beth's Table, where we share our table settings, thrifted finds, collections. And you can certainly ask for help with identifying an item. It's a really fun group. I encourage you to follow the link in the video description and join us. Blue Willow is a classic pattern that was made by many different manufacturers. Let's turn it over, look at the back stamp. It is semi-vitreous, which is vitrified porcelain, buffalo pottery. Quite an interesting back stamp too. And now we're going to segue to a more natural look for the season. If you're not into the pop of orange, you can certainly add some more muted tones. This is also a blue willow pattern. We'll take a look at that. I really like this look, and I think that that could be something that would definitely carry you into a longer period up until Christmas. Those covered boxes are fabulous. Just love any kind of trinket box. And two simple plates on a mantle can set the tone. And if you have a plate that's cracked that you're no longer using, it'd be a great way to display it and enjoy it. Real Old Willow from Booths made in England. Fantastic pieces. And it tells a story as well. Wheat is a symbol of the fall harvest and prosperity. 
Waterford Crystal included the wheat motif flute in their Millennium Collection for the year 2000. And if you're not wanting to go with orange, you could simply keep a classic cool blue hue and add some white and green tones and still have a festive look for the season. I always say look up high, you might find something of interest and we get some more design ideas. I can see this look on an entry table. It's very inviting, festive, with a very clever use of a wreath placed on top of the mirror and a wonderful cherub anchoring this look. You'll also notice the gold tones coming out here on the lamp with the classic blue. This cherub is a great investment piece for your decor. Priced at $125, we see that you can place something fun and festive inside for the season. There's a simple pumpkin placed on a tray with more fall decoration. And see how beautiful that is with the gold mirror and the lamps that also have a touch of gold, bringing in that warm tone. I'm finding all kinds of interesting things here that would be perfect for a kitchen or dining table, including this unusual soup terrine that is vintage. We have friends in Franklin, Tennessee, and their name is Corn, and they collect all things corn, as you can imagine, and I know they would love this. Looking at the back stamp, it is made in Portugal. You could even use these pieces separately to create a story for your display. An interesting addition to a fall table, this looks to be Majolica. Look at those rich colors. And it even has the original ladle. Look at that with a corn motif. And as we turn it over and look at the back stamp, we're sure to find out more about the history. It is made in Portugal. We will go a bit further down the center aisle and discover some classic blue and clear elements for the table. This is a beautiful assortment of so many different treasures that you could incorporate into every season. I'm really liking the canister set. I can tell right away that that is an Art Deco design and it is made in Germany. I've seen similar ones at flea markets there. Well priced at $72 for a set of 10 canisters. I think that's a fair price. And you could also incorporate this into a sideboard, maybe even some in a table centerpiece, place some florals inside. I love that interesting look of the design. A simple decor idea. This you could definitely pull off and I've even shared ways to create your own cloche. We'll talk more about this very classic idea. I absolutely love glass cloches. You can create a story or keep it simple. Here we have a white pumpkin. You could even embellish that with some rhinestones, a beautiful French wired ribbon. It's placed on a silver plated cake pedestal inside of a glass cloche for an easy decor element. A superb sideboard with some fantastic lamps. You'll notice that draws the eye up. Don't be afraid to go too high with those. Now we're going to look at an unusual item, an Italian glass and crystal ashtray. Yes, for $36. It looks like a compote. I think it's a fantastic piece. I would place a pumpkin inside, some fruit. I'd certainly have fun with that. I adore cake stands and have a rather large collection myself that I use in a myriad of ways. This is the Columbia design, and I will tell you all about it. It is priced at $32, which is a steal. And of course, you can use this for any season, and it makes a great gift as well. Wonderful pressed glass beauty. A Finley glass cake pedestal made by Dalzell, Gilmore, and Layton. This is a turn of the century ruffled cake pedestal, which is also a good idea for fall. It is clear glass, but you could dress this up with some fall foliage and a pumpkin you pick up at your local nursery or grocery store priced at $32. That is a very good deal for this ruffled and crimped cake pedestal. Let's step into the mid century era with some very unique finds including wall art. The brass leaves I can almost see fluttering in the wind, priced at $495. That would be a great look for today. And of course, perfect for fall. And another unique piece, priced at $65,
broadleaf cattails here. That is fantastic. I think they have some very good prices and unique finds as well. And of course, it wouldn't be mid-century without the bar cart and barware. And I love the green and gold. Again, perfect for fall. The high balls are priced at $2.25 for a set of six. And of course, they are vintage from the 1960s. And that card is really neat. Welcome to mid-century fall. You can have everything from lamps to wall decor and barware. Pole pottery is highly collectible. This double lily vase is priced at $55. And you'll see it has the beautiful fall colors. It could simply be a decorative object. Use it for brushes or florals. We're going to discover an original lamp from 1961 from the Fortune Company. This is a Brutalist bronze lava drip ceramic lamp. Priced at $275, it has the original shade and it belongs on a Hollywood set. These chairs are priced at $2,300, the arts and crafts era. And it wouldn't be mid-century without a bar cart and barware. They are well represented here. And that bar cart is priced at $5.95 with the chrome, glass, and oak. A wonderful selection of West German pottery. It's not something you see every day. Of course, we know if it is West Germany, it is prior to 1990. Safe to say these are from the 1960s, mid-century. Well priced at $35. And we want to turn it over and look for a stamp. The double houses tell us that it is Kostens Keramik. West Germany is often abbreviated on their pieces. Perhaps this came from a private collector from an estate sale. I would feature these together, probably without florals. Another great back stamp, also $35. And there's another piece I want to show you with a pop of color. Don't you love that turquoise? I think this one is my favorite. A great barware destination. And these owls are very popular. It's even the mascot for the rice owls here in Houston. Rice University, and I do see owls coming out a lot in retail, and that is something that seems to be coveted. Barware is a fantastic fall addition, and here we have some very hard to find Culver highballs with that beautiful golden owl, and these actually have just sold. As soon as they were put on the shelf, a buyer walked by, and she's taking these home. Wooden fruit would be a classic for any time of the year, and you could certainly add seasonal colors to that. Owls also is a piggy bank. How about that? And interesting that the stopper looks to be in perfect condition. That is a rarity. Mid-century glass is perfect for fall entertaining. This is the Sereno pattern from Anchor Hawking in that green avocado. And in the amber, we have an ashtray, which of course can be used for different purposes as well. They have wonderful examples of vintage glass. Barware has experienced a resurgence the last few years. And this set from the Jeanette Glass Company would be perfect for home entertaining. It is peach iridescent in the hex optic pattern. I encourage you to follow the Baker's Barware on Instagram. They have the best posts and then you can see the new items that they're bringing in. Perhaps there's something you've been looking for, such as this fabulous set. And it is in that tropical honey gold made by Anchor Hawking. It is the Tahiti honey pattern. And I like to say that it is, you know, as a re-inspired with that bamboo. The picture has a spiral handle. It's fantastic. A great representation of mid-century. Well priced at $76 and very hard to find. This set is tortoise shell. It reminds me of burled wood and it is triple gold banded. It pairs nicely with that tray and ice bucket. 
perfect for all seasons. And these I wanted to showcase, they are made by Whitehall, not Fostoria. There's a difference. You'll see it doesn't flare quite as much at the top as Fostoria. Now we're going to look for some metals to brighten up our fall display. And brass is just the ticket. These hawk wines are from India. They have a beautiful design. And you could even use those as candle holders for tea lights. Priced at $42 for the pair. And I really like this pair here in the back. Those are stately. I could see these on a sideboard. Priced at $125 for the pair. And we have some more barware upstairs. Some great finds in this shop. And I love all the gold bands that really goes well with fall. And this has the Greek key design, which is actually rooted in chinoiserie, the meandering pattern. And these look to be new and unused with the original stickers made in Italy. And of course you want to hand wash anything with gold, whether it is porcelain or crystal. And they have different sizes. They have the clarets and the goblets. Priced at 100 for a set of four. And here we have both sizes. You can see the difference. Wouldn't that be beautiful on a table? What a wonderful ice bucket. This is the perfect size. We need this in Germany for entertaining. I love that design. And these are actually made in Peru. That is quite something. And this set, I absolutely love. And I would break it apart and use it for different purposes. And I'll share some of my ideas with you. Very well priced. Amber glass is always a good idea. And it goes with many seasons. Even St. Patrick's Day, it could be the touch of gold. Well priced at $60 for this set. These cups could be a centerpiece down the table with florals inside. And it could even be a party favor or a dessert cup. So many different ways to use these. And of course, the tray can be enjoyed separately. And I think that is a deal. You've got so many ideas in one. These fabulous grapes would be a wonderful decorative element. I found some similar ones at MAM Resale last year for my friend Mark. And they are absolutely fun for decorating. And that purple also goes well with fall. You could also place tea light candles inside of these sandwich glass cordials, and that would really showcase the design along the center of a table. Green glass is becoming a favorite because it spans the seasons. These are from the Imperial Glass Company in the Williamsburg pattern. Ice beverages are very useful for desserts, and iced tea, of course, here in the South. Priced at $125 for a set of six, and they sell on the secondary market for $30 each. That is a good price. So many muted and fall colors here. Lots of neutrals, and you'll see there are some undertones with pops of color. This vase has that beautiful Caribbean blue, priced at $195. And the grape candle holders are fantastic. And something else that catches my eye ready for the season in this booth i'm loving the bamboo elements here and this is a pillar candle holder priced at 48 dollars. but of course you could use that as a pedestal place a bowl on top maybe even a plate that expands your surface area i've done that too with my fall table that you may remember that i featured previously on the channel a bird's eye view of heights antiques on yale there are two stories lots of booths and so much to discover here and of course, lots of inspiration with our fall table. Such a beautiful view. They do have some great stained glass pieces. And that would actually go well with the farmhouse look. So think about that. And definitely make a trip upstairs. Some unusual finds here as well, we'll discover. And mid-century items such as lamps and even comfortable seating. The brass and glass coffee table has my attention too. And this 
I did not expect to find today quite an amazing tray. It almost has a pedigree. It is a George Briard, and I will tell you more about this artist. Priced at $1.95, that is a true find. Is that beautiful signature? That was actually his artist's name. A fabulous find with this George Briard metal tray. It is priced at $1.95. He was a Polish American designer from the 1950s through the 70s and primarily glassware and dishware. And his products were sold in stores like Neiman Marcus and Bonwit Teller, a favorite of American housewives. We have discovered some of his finds at estate sales. A ceramic grasshopper might not be high on your list, but I think he could actually be used in different ways. This was made in a ceramic studio in 1977, priced at $69. And even with that type of item, you'll want to turn it over because there are certain makers of the blanks that you will want to consider. This is actually an item you see on eBay. Arnell's, and you know right away that is a quality piece. Pottery studios were popular in the 1970s. I remember my mother also made lots of things, including that Christmas tree you see everywhere for big bucks that Hobby Lobby copied. And how about a grasshopper? This was made in 1977. It is dated on the bottom by the artist. And those are fun fall colors. I'm thinking you could use this as a holder for cutlery, napkins, just about anything on your fall table, including an arrangement. A classic and sometimes historical collection with the Wedgwood Jasperware. And we have two of their most beautiful colors represented here, including an item that is rather hard to find. Wedgwood Jasperware in the beautiful green. This is my second favorite color. I actually prefer the blue, but I'm realizing that green goes with probably even more seasons. And this classic tray is one you can use for jewelry, for serving after dinner chocolates. Priced at $65, that's a good deal. This was $100 in the 1980s. I remember that when Lord Wedgwood visited my local department store. And this is officially called a tea caddy. I'm thinking that could be used as a vase, just about anything. I've not seen one of these in the US before, only in England. Priced at $95, it is a gorgeous piece. I've shared my extensive Royal Commemorative collection on the channel. You may want to take a look at that video. And there's another great example. And these you can use so many ways. In fact, one thing I've recently worked on is filling a box or container with a hand poured candle. Stay tuned for that coming up on the channel. And here is the wonderful plate representing Queen Elizabeth's Jubilee priced at $55. And how about some glass fruit? We've seen the wooden, now we have lots of color. That would definitely be an interesting thing to add to a kitchen. And so many options here today, priced from 25 to $30. Something for everyone. Majolica style pieces. Just love the Jasper Weir. This transfer wear is actually the oldest that I've seen in the shop and it is very special. We will talk about this in depth and I will show you a back stamp as well. And the pears are delightful. They look like Bosque pears. I really thought that they were real. Price at $95, a Copeland compote. And this copper mold I can almost see in the kitchen at Downton Abbey, priced at $98. It is from Italy. And here is that beautiful brown transfer ware. And a covered vegetable dish. And that has elements of chinoiserie with the pagoda. It is fantastic. I would take all of this home if I could. It's that time of year for brown transferware to have its day in the sun. This beautiful Canova pattern is an antique from the 1830s. The Thomas Meyer Company from Staffordshire Stoke on Trent with a beautiful bag stamp that gives us a lot of historical information. 
The rimmed soup is priced at $40, which is a deal. I've seen this for twice, sometimes three times the money on the secondary market. My friend Judy has a chinoiserie pumpkin that I've often admired. It is something that you can keep out year round, of course, and add some interest for the fall as well. And here we have two from which to choose. They are priced at $47.50 each. I quite like both of them. And this one might be my favorite. You could place something inside, even some tall dried florals, something botanical. I would probably just use it as a decorative element. Fall is also a great time to add some interesting textiles, whether it's a comfortable pillow to place in the chair for your guests or a quilt. I did find a couple. Let's go take a closer look. A lot of folks go to Round Top to find the vintage quilts. And here we've got a pair in Houston and the colors actually coordinate. These are hand stitched. Fantastic with that star design in great fall colors as well. Priced at 165. Quilts can be brought into many areas of your home. It could be a table runner or cloth for an entry, also a dining table, the back of a sofa, and even the tablecloth for a dessert table for all of your pies on Thanksgiving. A beautiful Imari bowl. This Japanese porcelain is colorful and elaborate, and it often has three dominant colors blue, a red or rust color, and white. And the whole piece is enhanced with gold. This is priced at 150. Early 19th century Spode Imari is a special find. This has been hand painted. It's got all of the great fall colors with the rust, cobalt blue, and gold. And I'm reminded of the jewelry that I'm wearing today and I will tell you all about it. And I will certainly show you my jewelry, but first I want to take a look at this temple jar in the orange or red chinoiserie. That would be great for fall. It's not always about the blue and white. Priced at $225, and it has a dragon and floral motif. Highly collectible. I was inspired to create beautiful jewelry pieces from the classic Imari. China Baroque is a store that I frequent in the Houston area, and they have lots of things in stock, but I also like to make custom pieces occasionally. And I ordered some Imari from Royal Crown Derby on eBay, demi toss cup and saucer, and a dessert plate. And I had the necklace and bracelet made. I also have earrings, which I'm not wearing today. That's just another fun way to enjoy vintage dishes. Red or pink transfer wear, as it is often called, is perfect for all seasons. This small sweet pitcher I can see with a strawberry sauce with dessert, filled with maple syrup on a brunch table, and that would make the perfect gift. Mason's Vista from England, priced at $55. You could give someone a piece of history and an interesting item that they can incorporate into their everyday. And many of these manufacturers help to perfect the transferware process. So many great designs. Of course, these could just be items of interest that you place on your mantle, as we have seen. This Mason's Vista soup tureen is priced at $2.25, and look at the detail on the handle. That would make an amazing centerpiece. And for classic white, Ironstone is a great option. This even has a fall theme with the wheat design, complete with underplate, lid, and ladle, priced at $175. Vintage glass is always fun, especially when you find that it is from a very well-known tabletop manufacturer, the Linux Company. These beautiful buttercup glasses are priced at $275 for a set of 11. And I can see this on a modern or traditional table. It would definitely add some interest. It's a good size glass and quite an unusual find. Of course, great for the season. This green fruit bowl is triple footed and I've seen this in various colors, including a blue. It is iridescent carnival glass and you may wonder how it gets its sheen. It's because metallic salts are applied while the glass is still hot from being pressed 
and a final firing of the glass brings out the iridescent properties of these salts, giving carnival glass the distinct shine it is known for. A pressed glass piece that I've actually not seen before in the amber color, this would be an interesting centerpiece as the seller suggests. Priced at $98, I would think that this would be a rather rare find. You could really have fun with this piece. Lots of great glass here, including a Czech piece made from a company that I'm not familiar with. It is Sklo, $450. And this is a bit unusual. It's like a fireball. It has a hole in the base and this is purposely done. And you'll see the top is solid and it has a divot. That would be an interesting design piece. You never know what you'll find here, including some bargains. These are sterling based from Frank M. Whiting Company, priced at $40 each. And it almost has a swung vase style. These are definitely from the 1960s and I think a bargain. I'm sure they will sell quickly. Love sterling silver. And of course, chinoiserie as well. You'll notice the addition of grapes here in the artwork. Great for fall. A wall of chinoiserie. If you are looking to build a collection or simply add to it or get some design ideas, this would be a wonderful shopping spot. And it pairs nicely with brass for the autumn. And now we'll invite you into this area where we have the table set just waiting to be discovered. And I like that it is rather simple. We've focused on several elements here. It is not fussy. It is fabulous. You'll notice the tea towels are used as napkins and a very easy to achieve centerpiece. Price at $3.95 for that center medallion chinoiserie bowl. Lots to discover in this area. And I think deer go very well with fall. And the gold pumpkins. Lots of fall inspiration with this table setting. Anchored by silver plated trays. Very clever use to make these into play chargers. And our favorite blue and white chinoiserie stays out for the season and topped with a golden pumpkin. This could be a place card holder. You could write your friend's name here. And in the center bowl, we have some corn and gourds and pumpkins. You can buy these at a craft store or even the ones you find at the grocery store. And that is a very simple way to transform your table for the season. Beautiful French antiques and a corner shelf that is calling my name. I am noticing the papaya colored accents. Orange is my least favorite color. I am trying to embrace it. At $55 for the pair of chinoiserie candle holders, that would be a great addition. You could create a plate wall with some interesting and historical pieces and pops of color. If you happen to have seen the chinoiserie segment on my channel, you would recognize this piece holding brushes. I thought it was a tea caddy, but it's actually meant for soup. Of course, unifying everything on a silver tray always works. It's another great design tip. And with all the antiques and old world, we can add some modern art for interest. This is a lithograph from Barbara Wood, and it's priced at $8.99. If you've ever had any custom framing done, you will know that you would spend far more than that just on the frame. And it's a beautiful view here from Heights Antiques, and a few more things I'd like to share with you before we go. And it's not all about the chinoiserie. How about an ice bucket? Many of you have a silver or crystal ice bucket on hand, and this is a great idea. A silver ice bucket is for all seasons. What a great idea to place some simple fall foliage that you could pick up at your local craft store. This ice bucket is priced at 129. 
With some paint, you could create a marbleized look for your pumpkins. That's an easy DIY. If there were a recipe for fall chinoiserie, it would be just add pumpkins. You see how easy it is to transform a vessel for the season. Anything goes with the color of your pumpkins. So glad you came along today for Heights Antiques on Yale and a bit of inspiration for creating a classic fall look with some basic elements. There's so much to discover in this store. I hope that you shop your local antique or thrift store to find some wonderful components for a seasonal look. Thanks again for joining Lady Mary Beth. Elevate your everyday with a vintage-inspired fall look.